Hello, uh, in this video I would like to show you how to revoke uh, the starting terminal uh, from this uh, proprietary SpaceX connector uh, to a waterproof RJ45 uh, like this one. Uh, I think everyone would agree that uh, this connector is pretty bad, uh, especially for this application. Uh, the connector is quite delicate and it's really easy to damage. Uh, you can see I have a, a small collection of damaged connectors. Uh, you know, a small amount of moisture or dirt that get, can get inside is enough to break the connector. Also, I heard about many cases when the brand new connector was already mechanically broken just out of the box. Uh, unfortunately, buying the new connector is impossible, it's completely proprietary and spare parts just do not exist. And the only way is to buy a whole new cable, and it's ridiculous. Uh, in the worst case, you can also lose uh, the, sockets, the socket inside this tube. Uh, and it's also impossible to replace, uh, sure, there are no any spare parts, uh, but the main problem is that there is no way to extract the socket without uh, fully disassembling of the terminal. I don't recommend disassembling of the terminal or damaging uh, housing. It, it will take a lot of time to disassemble and there is no guarantee uh, that you will be able to correctly seal it uh, back. Uh, you know, a tiny amount of water inside the terminal may, may damage uh, dishes PCB. It will be possible to repair, but uh, uh, why do this? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I saw that uh, people are already trying to do the same modification and get rid of the SpaceX connector, but everyone is drilling holes uh, somewhere here uh, and breaking the tightness of the device. Uh, Please don't make any unnecessary holes in the housing. Uh, what I propose uh, is to make a one hole uh, right here, right here. Uh, and install uh, waterproof RJ45 socket, uh, this one, uh, you can see. It's uh, some kind of adapter. Uh, you may ask uh, why drilling hole here is safe and not somewhere else. Uh, so let me show you what's inside the terminal. Uh, so here is the back side of the terminal uh, and here's internals uh, as you can see. Uh, inside everything is divided into parts. Uh, uh, these areas are fully sealed. It's the internal space of the terminal and this section is a motor compartment. Uh, and this compartment is uh, not uh, isolated from the outside environment because we have uh, these gaps here for, for the stand. Uh, from the factory this uh, compartment is uh, completely sealed, but I already removed it so we can see what's inside. So, uh, here we have uh, two motors and uh, some cables. Uh, this cable is for the motors and uh, this is our Ethernet PoE data cable. Uh, this side is goes to the uh, DC PCB and uh, uh, this cable is going inside this tube to the SpaceX connector. And uh, I am proposing to make hole right here. Uh, uh, from this location uh, we can reach uh, this cable uh, from the outside uh, plus uh, the connector will be inside this motor compartment so it will be completely isolated from the uh, terminal internals so it will be completely safe to make any holes here uh, also this fixes a small problem known as a twisted cable in the case if uh, starting is quite often moving from one location to another, it constantly rotates to find the best position, uh, like this. It may happen that starting will rotate in some direction more often uh, than in another direction. And uh, as a result, uh, this cable uh, will be twisted uh, around uh, this axis, axis of the tube. So. Uh, this side is uh, fixed to uh, plastic 
and uh, this cable can rotate with the tube so if your dish is rotating in some uh, some way the cable is also twisting and it might be damaged so to start we need to approximately divide this terminal into parts uh, by this axis so right here and then we need to measure exactly 19 uh, centimeters from this edge uh, by this axis so let's measure so okay uh, this is a this will be a location of hole actually i used uh, different techniques uh, for this connector uh, like uh, making a bigger a bigger hole here and putting it on the separate plate uh, like this one so it will be fixed on this plate and then it goes uh, here and uh, glue it and seal it but i decided that this is over complicated uh, i decided to simplify everything so now i am just uh, making uh, a hole uh, that corresponds uh, to the diameter of this connector uh, so it will sit here on some friction and uh, a little amount of uh, glue uh, so the hole is ready i didn't film the process because it's really boring uh, but it uh, looks uh, good to me as, uh, as you can see uh, this socket socket fits nicely and already holding in so i think we can continue and now we need to get the ethernet cable uh, you can see it inside so we need to pull it somehow uh, cut and they crimp the rj45 connector uh, the main problem is that this cable is too short uh, so it's uh, really not easy to uh, crimp the connector and uh, we can what we can do is to get uh, some more cam cable uh, from the tube uh, we can do it by pushing pushing the whole this uh, plastic assembly uh, with the connector uh, a little bit inside the tube so we can do it by uh, pushing this plastic uh, holder uh, it's already uh, i already did this procedure that's why it looks like this so yeah you can use a simple screwdriver and then just like that P push here and then push the whole construction inside so this uh, gives us almost almost one centimeter of extra cable so it's it's good uh, to cut the cable inside i used this uh, tool to uh, pull the cable and just a simple knife to uh, cut the cable inside i don't know uh, can you see it or not i'm just cutting it somewhere inside so yeah here's our cable yeah it's uh, also a little bit short but it's more than enough to film the connector uh, so i stripped uh, stripped the cable as you can see it's just a twisted pair with shooting this is a, a shooting cable uh shooting wire sorry uh so don't forget to connect it it's important and uh, that's why i am using this metal connector i'm going to install it and then i can install and seal my socket i crimp it uh, the connector uh, it looks nice and the shooting wire is just soldered directly to the connector as you can see
it's important to test uh, how everything fits in and also it's uh, worth to uh, verify the electrical connection i'm using this uh, cable tester for the rg45 so let's press the button and test it as you can see all eight wires are shorted and it's okay because uh, all the lines are shorted inside uh, through the Ethernet transformer inside the terminal and this uh, test result means that uh, connection is good all pins are connected so now we can actually uh, seal everything up Additionally, I am powering up the terminal and connecting to the PC uh, to make sure that everything is okay. As you can see, it's booting and moving, so we can move forward. Uh, to make sure that this connection is fully protected, I am using uh, automotive gasket maker uh, to seal everything up. And now I think it's well protected from moisture. Uh, I'm using the same gasket maker uh, when installing the socket to make sure that everything is okay. And now it's almost done. Additionally, I'm using a small self tapering screw to make sure that the socket is fixed properly. From the cable side, everything is straightforward. Uh, the most important thing is don't forget to install those, ele those elements first uh, because uh, then it will be impossible when the cable is actually crimped and by the way this is how the starting cable is looks inside uh, you can see that this is just a twisted pair uh, but uh, it's a little bit unusual because uh, uh, the wires are a little bit uh, thicker uh, than usual so it might be uh, harder to crimp the connector, but it's doable. I'm always running first uh, tests on the table to make sure that everything is okay. Uh, now the terminal is connected to the starting router. Uh, as we can see, it's moving and booting. The web interface is responsive. Uh, yes, uh, and this means that we, now we can do the outdoor tests. Now the starting terminal is outside my window and it's already online, everything seems fine. Uh, we can try to measure the speed. Okay, we are getting more than uh, 100 megabits per second and this means that the cable and connector was okay. So I guess that's all. Thank you.